This is by far the best straight hair dreadlocks tutorial on YouTube. Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Great Locks. I'm Gunther the Great, and today we're taking a look at the best straight hair dreadlock tutorial, and it is from Flower Friendly on YouTube. So if you have straight hair and you want dreadlocks, let's take a look at how you can do it. So as we're watching this video, you can see that this is what your hair is going to look like. These are the locks, and she's making these really huge sections, which aren't 100% necessary, but are easier for creating locks with straight hair. But she's starting out with back combing, and you can see how this makes it a very fluffy look, almost like a foxtail look. And then she's going in with crochet hooking. I will mention that all the tools used in this video are gonna be linked down below, but you can see all the examples that she already did right there, and they look very well put together. And she shows us in close detail on how she's actually doing this. And I've never seen it in this detail before, just using a crochet hook. But what she's doing is she's pulling on the top of the hair with the crochet hook, grabbing hair, and you can see how she's just scraping it on the top. That's the best way to say it, is scraping it on the top, going to the back of the side of the lock, and then twisting the lock tool, and then pushing it to the other side, and just scraping the top on both sides. So as if you're like, if this is the hook, I'm going over the top, scraping hair from the top, pushing it to the back, and scraping it into the back, and then constantly doing that. And you can see how she does it so well, like scraping the top, pushing it to the back, scraping the back, and then keep going in that same motion. I'm gonna allow you to just hear what she's saying so you can get a better understanding. So scrape along the top part, and you're going to flip. Look at this part, we're going to flip it over, go along the other side, see the hook on the back side? We're gonna scrape along the back side, keeping that hair on the hook, see how the hair is still there? We're going to scrape along the top side, and now the back side, all while keeping that hair still on the hook. So again, I'll show you. And you can see how quick that's actually locking up. Under, back, top, back, top, back, top, back. This is a good way to do maintenance right here. Over, flip it over, under, flip it over, over, under. And then you can also go through the center of it, grab the outside hairs and pull those through to the other side. Now remember, if you keep that hair, you're basically weaving all the hair together. So you see how in detail that was with the actual, you know, scraping the top, pulling that hair and pushing it to the other side. And that's what's going to create that lock. It's pretty much raveling the hair and creating an instant twist or an instant lock for straight hair. And you can see how quickly she's actually accomplishing this. And honestly, the more detail that you put into actually creating the instant lock using a crochet hook, then you're gonna get the results that you want. Now, of course, you could still do instant locks, just, you know, going in and out, and that's all you do, and you just work your way down the lock. That's completely fine as well, but this is more intentional with really raveling everything in together. Because just by taking a look at the work that she's doing, this is like very tight and very well put together. Now, also keep in mind that she's using a ton of hair because the sections are so large. These are about three inch by three inch sections that, on my, in my opinion, are really big, and it's not 100% necessary in order to do that with, you know, straight hair locks. Obviously, it's easier and you can get it done quicker, but it's not 100% necessary. Say if you're doing it yourself, you can definitely do smaller sections. Just know that if you're going to a loctician or someone who does instant locks, they're most likely going to give you a thicker section. And the reason they do that is so that they can get more clients in over time. And if you do go in and say you want really skinny locks, they're gonna charge you more per lock. And that's why I encourage everyone to do it yourself. But you can obviously see that she's doing an excellent job. And if you wanna get it done quicker, make thicker sections. And this is what it's going to look like. It's going to look very similar to what we're seeing right here. And I know a lot of people hate on, you know, straight hair locks because A, they have thick sections, and B, because they somewhat are a little bit more frizzy than other locks. And that's obviously just because the hair is straight and it doesn't curl back into the lock. And there's this whole other stigma that comes with straight hair locks and it's unfortunate but if you really want locks you can definitely get them just know that if you're doing anything that is different or against the grain people are going to hate you for it and that just comes with the territory if you want locks get the tools you need linked down below from greatlocks.com turn your hair from this to this by clicking the link down below